hello guys uh, welcome to tech design i hope everybody is doing great so uh, in this session i am going to start with a uh, drafting so as the name suggested we can discuss on a master model concept so before going into our drafting we should just need to understand some of the basics uh, so that uh, you know uh, you can understand better how the drafting works in uh, unigraphics and x12 uh, so uh, you know uh, there are too many requests that i am receiving to start a drafting so that is the reason i am starting it uh, uh, very early otherwise i would have a plan on uh, sheet metal and then uh, uh, come back to this uh, drafting so let's go in parallel with a uh, sheet metal and as well as uh, drafting uh, workbenches as well as some assembly you know examples as well so in this video what we can do is we'll just you know uh, go into basics of uh, drafting how what is the master model concept and how it works in uh, uni graphics so as you can see here uh, we have multiple ways where you know, we you know we can go into a drafting uh, environment so we can see here there is a simple plate that i have created for uh, uh, using and uh, you know drafting so uh, this is the simple model uh, we can see here this is a plate and uh, these are the some features that we have created inside this uh, plate so either you can just directly uh, press uh, control shift d in, uh, that uh, will take you to a drafting workbench or else you can just go to file and create a drafting so once you uh, click on this uh, you will have this you know all the you know parameters so i'll just click ok we will just come back to this uh, with the, in the next studio so this is completely on master model concept so i'll just click ok for this so as soon as you click ok uh, you can see the you know uh, wizard will open the sheet as you can see view creation wizard so this is the wizard where we can uh, you know uh, create all the you know stuffs uh, at the basic steps so we'll just click finish so uh, this will create an uh, you know overview on uh, views some of the views as you can see here top view and isometric views so this can be selected in a view creation wizard and which are the views that you need so uh, in this video as you can see here once uh, the part is there and you have created uh, go going into a file and uh, uh, going into a drafting so this will create a part file inside the plate so as you can see here plate dot prt which is nothing but it uh, it contains both drawing as well as uh, a model so once you click go to application and uh, go to model so you can able to see the model with the same name and once you go to application and the uh, drafting uh, you can see the uh, drawing as well so this is nothing but uh, you will have uh, both uh, you know uh, model and uh, drawing in the same file uh, so this is uh, as usual where um, you know all other uh, application as well uh, using the same method so in uh, you know in graphics we can have a master model as well so we'll discuss on master model how that is actually so what i'll do is i'll just go to create a new file so we'll just create a new file and uh, uh, let me select an assembly so i'll just select an assembly and i'll just give this as a name as plate uh, underscore dwg dot prt okay and i'll just click ok so as soon as you click ok uh, so this is in a drafting workbench uh, sorry assembly workbench so it will ask you to add a component so inside this some assembly what i'll do is i'll just add in a plate so this is my plate now so let me go into modeling so we have an assembly file as you can see here plate drawing and we have a plate which is a child component of a, a plate drawing file so as you can see here uh, this is our uh, you know we can use this uh, plate drawing file for only for drawing so what i will do is i will just go to the same step i will just go to file and go to drawing and uh, it will create a same uh, you know drawing file uh, so as soon as you click ok uh, view creation wizard will come and you can just click click finish so now uh, we have the plate and drawing as you can see here in the part navigator under this uh, plate drawing we have a plate so this is nothing but a master model concept wherein uh, the plate will have only uh, this plate drawing file will have only drawing file whereas this plate is having a model so there is there will be difference uh, between this and this so this has both uh, model and drawing and this has only drawing so in the in this case what we can do is uh, someone can able to work on uh, the same model and some other can work on uh, uh, drawing as well uh, in the in the same you know uh, parallelly so they they can work in parallel so uh, let me discuss this on uh, you know uh, one of the image here so if we if you can check here the so the, if this is the model so 
so in the master model concept what happen what happens is uh, this is the model and we have a separate file for drafting and manufacturing and assemblies and analysis so all can work uh, together at the same time whereas the model uh, can be kept constant so if the model is updated and uh, even the analysis drafting all the files will be updated automatically so this is called as a master model uh, you know concept so this will be very important when you are working on our drawing uh, as well as um, you know uh, some analysis or uh, some assemblies so hope you understand what is the master model concept uh, I, I guess you enjoyed uh, this video uh, please uh, like my videos and share my videos thank you guys